What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What up? What up? What up? Back with another Larry Bird reaction video. Again, another recommendation by none other than Dutch T uh, putting together or researching a bunch of different videos for a compilation, providing it to me with links, and I'll react to each one and stitch it together for a video about a young Larry Bird during his NCAA life at ISU. All right, so here's the breakdown of the videos. Check me out. The first video is gonna be Bird's ISU Sycamore Highlights. Second video, Larry Bird's slow-mo college passing. Third video, ISU vs. Arkansas and Moncrief Elite Eight highlights. Fourth video, ISU vs. DePaul and Aguirre Final Four highlights, 35 points. Fifth video, Pizza Hut Classic NCAA All-Star Game pregame interview. And the last video, Pizza Hut Classic 31 March 1979 highlights. Did I get all those? Are those, is there six? Let me double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, correct. And Dutch T also said, I'm wondering what you think of Bird's guide hand during his college years. Was it the same as later years or was it an adjustment he made after he mangled his right index finger after the NCAA finals? I will take a close look at that. I always would mention um, Larry Bird's guide hand when he'd shoot because he kind of like start out like this, but as he flicks his shooting hand, his guide hand kind of goes like this a little bit very unique so can't wait to get into these ISU highlights um, if you didn't know and I'm sure most of you do know Bird uh, played three seasons with ISU and had an absolutely legendary 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 career uh, he was the nation's second leading scorer and we all know that just like his NBA career with the Celtics, he was all around basketball player and can also play defense. Um, we all know the story. Uh, had a big scoring surge in the NCAA tournament and eventually would lose to Michigan State in the NCAA championship game where Magic Johnson had got the best of him. And for those, I, 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 I always heard in other videos that that game against Bird and Magic in 1979, um, that championship game is the highest uh, television, well, is television's highest rated basketball game in the history. And I had asked somebody in another video, does that record still stand today? And they said, yes, that record still stands today. Good stuff. Larry Bird was a beast, really did put ISU on a map, got a whole ass statue on the campus. But I'll be honest with you, that statue pales in comparison to his actual impact. On college sports, what him and Magic did for college sports, and what they did for the NBA. I'll shut up. Let's get into it. All right? First one, ISU Sycamore Highlights. Let's get it. And do that consistently. The jump against Gilbert and Bird to pull, feeds off to Carl Nix, two points. Three, Larry Bird in the corner, getting around Zahn, putting it up. Dumps it off to Gilbert, by the floor. Larry Bird, he just outthought everybody. What a move by Larry. Inside, great pass. The pass. Oh, and that dunk, pro potential. He's just the outside of this team. Intercepted by Bird. Starts a fast break. That's nice left hand. Over Watkins. He knew that was going in. He was standing in Indiana State. Bird is on Kelser. Knocks it away. Shoulder man. And zip up. Larry Bird. Go no goal. There he is. Bird takes it. He's always had to develop different aspects of the game to be able to get my shot off. Next step. Oh! 
Oh, good pass. the college basketball world by posting the players are not hitting that perimeter shot. Oh my great play by Bird. He snatched that joint out of the air. Oh is that Larry Bird or Michael Jordan? That ball Bird goes up. That's a good move. The way for us, the, you know, shooters. And Shots he used to shots like God, that is amazing. It off to Bird. He's there. He got it. Looking for a four-point play. Bird. <laughs> Larry Bird ties it. There goes Kelser. Lost the ball to Bird. Bird almost lost that ball out of bounds. <laughs> he was doing that back in the day, huh? Got him. Unbelievable. You know how far away that is? That's in left. Such a boss ass passer. Oh, look at that pass the bird. And look at that pass into Bird. And Bird. He's at the Bird. Bird. Oh! Just give it the ball and that's in it out. Bird. Oh! Larry had become a basketball phenomenon. A big man who could shoot and pass like a guard. Play. That nobody has it in this game. Larry Bird inside and Bird. There's only 1,800 people there. Dude, he's killing that low block game, man. And that was our goal. Killing the low Get block. In his hand, 75% of the time that we had it. Hit him with the hook, switch the left hand. McDonald's arch boy. Ten rebounds on his NBA career. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes I really think he's gonna shoot and he passes. He be fooling me. You can't first by himself. Look out, that's what happens. Look out. Automatic finish the season number one. I think UCLA and Notre Dame have raised the white flag. Look out, there's a better play coming up. 455, Arkansas by seven, Bird from the top. Bird. Oh, what a touch. Oh, danced it on the rim and dropped it in. We're even at third to go, does he? Ball is taken away by Bird on his steal. He'll take it all away, and it's no good, and the foul is called on wire. Has to do. Bird. Tough basket. 52 to 46, and Indy Tech 
and the Sooners of Oklahoma. The man to shoot it. Nope. Back to Bird. Great pass. Oh, what a play. 16 point lead. There we go. Right on the dime. Think an unbelievable 83%. Uh, he just made another. He was 11 for 12. Oh, oh, Nick's shooting high. Bird is there. Look at that beast of a rebound. Just push that boy out the way. Hey, that's some Will Chamberlain stuff right there. Will used to do that all the time. His pivot foot was his right foot there. Oh, behind the back. What you want to do? Pass. Body wants Larry Bird to have the ball. He's got the ball. He's got the shot. He's got the Opportunities if they hit those three. Oh, what a catch! Yeah, catch! Drops it. Thirty thirteen, four point six assists, over fifty percent field goal percentage, and over eighty from uh, three. Beast, man, beast. I've been watching Larry Bird, and I'm taken aback by how incredible of a passer he was. Not oh, not you know, just in the NBA, but also as you know, a teenage college prospect. There are a few players um, pre NBA I've seen who passed the ball like Larry Bird, and that's in a six nine frame as well. I mean, he was a you know surefire, insane prospect, one of the greatest to ever do it. Um, but we're just gonna look at some of his passes and break down how he tore apart defenses. Um, from some of his Indiana State tape. He was a master um, in a couple areas. He processed the floor instantly. He had incredible vision, and his creativity was incredible. Here, um, he catches the ball, and he knows his teammate is open despite his you know, never actually looking at that guy, and he flicks a beautiful pass over his head without looking. This instant no-look um, creates a wide-open layup that um, his teammate's able to convert on. Um, and Larry doesn't even look at this spot of the court. This defense probably thinks this is not an immediate threat and they'll have a second to slide over but because Larry processes the floor instantly. Uh, he's able to snipe it over for an easy layup. It's, just, it's incredible stuff. And Bird was so good making second level reads off the bounce, which is something that's rare for you know most college passers, even point guards, um, where he probably could have hit this cutter, um, but his his handle was being pressured. There was a guard digging, so it would have been a toughish pass. And this defender was sinking. Um, so Larry is patient. He waits, and he could just take a little pull up here, but he sees this low help defender kind of biting at this little up fake and leaving this defender wide open. And Larry again processes this immediately, recognizes the opening, and makes a pass for a wide open layup. He's so good reading these second level rotations as they happen and before they're happening to exploit them and make great passes. He was, I mean, as you know, probably no one has, we've seen a flashy pass extraordinaire. He loved this uh, behind the head pass, which yeah, probably he wasn't always the most functional thing in the world, but it was real cool to look at. Um, and it was real cool to watch him, you know, execute these kind of flashy passes that were kind of just like screw you, like screw you plays. Um, where, the, where, where Larry's like, this is too easy. I will, you know, make this more fun. This one's actually really impressive. Um, where the other one was kind of just for flash. This one is into a really tight window. Um, and it's another one where the, the no look really does serve a purpose. Um, as with Larry facing this way, the defense probably isn't expecting a pass. His whole body is facing away from this man. 
Mm -hmm. um, and he's not really in position to pass around the defense. But with this, you know, no look behind the head flick, again, doesn't even look at his man, just knows where he is instinctively. Um, and doesn't even, like, one, a one hand behind the back pass, like, behind the head pass with this, you know, accuracy is, is quite impressive on the move. So, like, you know, he had every single passing tool, like, just a rare, rare creative in terms of passing. There was there's really few few players, not just, here's another look at the same play, not just as creative in terms of, like, mm. you know, what kind of passes and, you know, the flashy no looks, but in just, like, the kind of passes they invent that, like, no one ever does. And Larry, again, another last-second decision. Um, he sees uh, the one. Th these two help defenders kind of you know, sauntering here as Larry's getting ready to shoot a pull-up. And while Bird is one of the greatest shooters in the history of basketball, even he knows that a wide-open layup or dunk is a better shot than a wide-open mid-range from him in most cases. So Bird is dumping this pass right down to his big man for an easy layup. While you know he might look covered, Bird knows that he has a you know he has a seal here on this defender, um, and then if he's able to slip it in in front he should be able to get his guy an open layup. And he was right, and Bird's team generated an even better shot than they would have gotten, uh, which is such a special quality for someone who is as gifted a scorer um, and a shooter as, as Larry Bird was. He was so willing to, again, like this is a, a very similar play, um, a, a really similar play, where this time Bird um, notices that the defender is slid more towards the kind of lower, his lower teammate, so he passes to the cutter for a wide open dunk, which is a better shot than a bird pull up. This is, this is just nasty, um, where teams fear his passing, um, and bird can just do ridiculous stuff like this. Um, like this, you know, hard skip fake is something this defender is going to believe because Bird is the type of player to make those passes with right. regularity and make them work. But obviously, he just you know bakes him the hell out um, <laughs> and pulls up for a wide open jumper. It's just just so disrespectful. Bird's like creativity and vision and processing speed and court awareness came up in transition too, um, where he was liable at all times. Love that. Pass. Actually, just kidding. Oh, uh, I. I, you know what? You know, yeah, we'll show those clips now. Where Bird was so good at like immediately grabbing an offensive rebound and pushing the ball out uh, to one of his guys running towards the rim for a wide open layup. Um, he was a practitioner of these like Jokic outlet passes uh, where he just bullet them. Look at this dive. Oh my goodness. That would make Tom Brady proud. Um, right in the bucket, he led his receiver inside over that left shoulder. In stride, touchdown. That is that is beautiful stuff. <laughs> Such an awesome play. Um, and then the play that I was going to show is, again, like the off-ball connective passing was so awesome. Um, he was so, so incredible at taking advantage of tiny gaps in the defense with his mm -hmm. smart off-ball movement and his shooting and some of his slashing. Not that he wasn't you know, a good on-ball passer and creator, which he was. He was amazing at that too. But the off-ball connective passing is probably the best I've ever seen. Um, and he was like, he exhibited this on the offensive rebounds too. As offensive rebounds are scramble situations where both offense and defense um, are not really gonna be in position and sometimes not sure of where everyone is in the court. But Larry is. He notices that while it's, it looks clumped in here, and this is a pass that like a lot of players would never even think about trying, um, but Bird knows that these defenders are moving towards him and away from his teammates, so he can slip it into his big man before he even touches the ground. Look how immediately he's making this decision. Bird has likely made the decision of what he's going to do before he even got this ball um, and converts it into a wide-open layup. Or I think it's actually a foul. But, yeah, I mean, Larry won in, in so many ways. There are really no passers like him that I've ever seen. Um, I've, I, I've never seen a guy pass like him, uh, really, at that size. There's, there's nobody like it in terms of his toolbox and the way he processed the floor. Um, and he's just, just magical. Magical to watch. Um, one thing he said there that I was thinking in the previous video even was and I've said it in the past it's just the guy he's so damn unpredictable and I'm not talking unpredictable in a sense it's like oh I don't know what move he's gonna do when he has the ball what offensive moves he's gonna do. no it's like I don't know 
at any given point. I don't know if it's going to shoot. I don't know if it's going to pass. I don't know if it's going to go left. I don't know if it's going to go right. I don't know if it's not. I, I, I don't know the, the threat. It's like, what do you do? Like, like there's times where he, he tricks me. It's like he's wide open. He's going to shoot this baseline jumper. And it's like I, I'm just looking, expecting the ball to go up. And then he goes up and he whoop, throws it under the basket. And I was like, God damn, Larry, you got me again. You got me again, Larry. I'll get you, gadget. Got me again, bro. Uh, but just completely unpredictable. When you think he's taken like a good shot or it's the best option, Larry says, I got something to teach you, young blood. There's an even better option. Watch what I do here. He's he's he gets me a lot on those. All right. Great video there. Great breakdown by that young man. All right. Next one is Larry Bird, Arkansas. He had the mump, but he's playing, and they labeled it thus far only a sore throat. Larry Bird in the corner. Bird tries to get it up and lays it up and in. That crowd. Up. It's going to be Moncrief. Here we're going to see it. Bird goes underneath. He got called for steps right there. We don't see his feet, but he was traveling. Great shot, however, and you can see that Larry Bird's going to die. That's not his spot. Next can shoot from anywhere, and he's deadly. At this time, Noah Gilbert goes up. Bird out leaps him and keeps the ball in play. Larry's going to do it himself. Again. Bird on the board, man. Covered up by Miley, the best defensive player. Moncrief, no good. Bird battles for it. There's Sydney. Next is back into the ball game. Underneath is Gilbert. Six points for out. Here he is. Bird gets the ball away high and has this one. Eight of the Off last, the baby. 455. Arkansas by seven. Bird from the Look side. That. That's a beautiful in motion. Expecting the ball. Takes the shot. No good. Bird is there. That five. rebound. And Indiana Give me that. State has never led. One time down by seven. Bird, Again, in gone. motion. Once he catches the ball, he's already ready to slide his foot and go up into a shot. Wiggles off a body or two. Gilbert outside is Larry Bird. He's been all of it. He's shooting over his arm again. Reed outside. Oh, how did it stay out? <laughs> Took a trip around the rim and came back into the hands of Larry Bird. It's like Magneto. Looking on and nobody's disappointed. It's a tough bucket. 30 is in. Yeah, rewind that one. Larry Bird and he's walking. Is in. Oh, that's that's a tough shot. Looking on and nobody's disappointed. Bird, he's going to shoot the ball away again. Oh, man. 30 is in. Mm. Larry Bird and he's walking. Bird, turn it on. Stop it. Was played in every game at Arkansas. Outstanding record. Oh, he got the ball on and nothing called for Bird. Takes the shot. Oh, 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 o
thing. Watkins looked pretty good on the leg. Good pass by Nix inside. Bird grabbed this. When you see his left thumb, still give him a little trouble. Now here's that offensive positioning you're talking about, Al. Totally in control of his body. Puts it back up with the left hand. Doesn't want to handle the ball. Nix 10. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh and he never had no, I've already seen that play, and I still didn't know what the hell he was going to do. And Gilbert over to Paul. And number three, Bob Hayden comes in. There you go, Larry Bird coming in. Throwing it back with his left hand. I think we ought to point it. There's a super steal in there by Garland. I'm going to point out, Dick, that he is a left-handed individual. The step by a mix to handle the ball a little bit. Bird. That's his game. Right from there. He's probably the best that ever played at the game from that distance at his height. Bird. Over Watkins. He knew that was going in. He was fading back on defense as soon as he left his hand. By Bird. We'll see his form in a jumper. Here's what you're talking about, Al. He pushes him back in with a good ball fake. Solid fundamentally. Holds the ball above his head. Great release. Excellent rotation on the ball. The guy 35 points, baby. Buckets. Got nobody has it in this game. Controlling the game offensively. Came around the low pick that time. He had his mind made up to take it inside. Now here he goes. He's got the screen right there. Staley is just staying in place. Set play coming off the low double post. Mike, uh, Mark McGuire fell asleep on that. He should have picked up uh, Larry Bird. Bird. Oh, what a shot. Does he ever miss? Hey, what's so great about that? He took it right off the pass. He was on his way up as he caught the ball. He no defense that. I don't think he... Time to get the ball, ball to Larry. There he Good is. Pump fake. Lean. Larry Lean. Ties it at 26. He has 14. You notice how when he came down, he had the game very well. Oh, hey. 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 Great assist by Reed. And it's tied at 28. Now he wanted a technical foul. Oh, technical. What happened here? Bird threw the ball down. But uh, it was just a pass to the referee. Here he goes. Pump fake. Steps in. Now watch him go for the rebound. Oh, we missed him a little bit there, but he, there he is. Off the high pivot, he was free. That's two. You're right. Larry Bird, All-American. Well, if you're Ray Meyer sitting over there, Al, you got a stick round. Inside, Staley. Bird tips it in. He's everywhere. You can't leave him. I, he's getting too open. Bird. Oh, what a touch. Oh. It on the rim and Him being such a threat from scoring, bro. The pump fake is automatic. Keep him jumping. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Get rid of the ball. Step in. Sycamores, Bird leading the way with 23 points. Lead to Paul University. A great show by a great All-American and a marvelous 20 minutes of basketball. What do you think he shot individually, Al? I think an unbelievable 83%. Uh, just made another. He was 11 for 12, 92% the first half. He broke the calculator. That explains part of it all. Of course, it won't count as an attempt here. Here he is moving around constantly looking for offensive position. Watkins too late getting there. There's a beautiful soft touch inside. That was a basket right before this one. Third foul. Here's Mitchum on Bird. Larry Bird, a phenomenal display. I've watched him a couple of times. It's unbelievable. He hits that shot like he hit a layup. There's the timeout. there a little bit late on that one here he comes down the other end now watch it constantly moving people are leaving him i don't understand when you've got a responsibility to guard him you better stay with him even if you've got to help out with somebody else because he's going to be in position one of his biggest assets he goes for the jump shot was coming there he was looking for it what a pass, what a pass. leroy staley another factor 
back and a shove and match in here. Now here's Bird. He's just going to set up. Now watch everybody kind of watching it. Bounce pass, beautifully thrown. Leroy Staley has been great off the bench. Lays it on in. He went back door that time. No foul. And no the ball trailing by six has had three straight opportunities if they hit those three. Oh, what a catch! Get a catch! He is with the bird man in Las Vegas. He cut this interview. Hot Rod. Perhaps the best college basketball player in many a year is in Las Vegas for a basketball game here tomorrow, the college all-star game. And why is he here? He, ha he has nothing to prove. He has proven to be the best college basketball player in the country. And why are you going to play in this game, Larry? Well, you know, I made some commitments early in the season. I told a couple guys from the Pizza Hut back home that I would play in it. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what kind of year I was going to have. Maybe I needed this game for the year started at the end of it. But uh, I told him I'd play in it. And, you know, I don't want to go back on my word. And, you know, I don't have nothing to prove. But, uh, you know, it's a good experience for me to come out here in Vegas and re relax a little bit and have a good time. But, uh, you know, um, when I say I'm going to do something, I try to stick with it. <laughs> I love it. I love Larry Bird interviews, man. I love how, I don't know, I just like how he talks. Uh, you know, Larry, I don't know if I really had to play in that game, but, you know, it's good to come out here, play with the team, and, you know, give it my all. That's all I can do is give it my all. And then uh, hopefully I can build some things and learn some things from other players and take that with me, you know, to the rest of the season, and hopefully me and my teammates can capitalize off of it. And uh, I just want to win. I just that's, that's all I want to do. I just want to win. I love playing basketball, and I'm here playing basketball. I can't ask for nothing more than that. <laughs> Shout out to Bird, baby. All right, last video. Here it comes. NCAA All-Star Game. Pizza Hut All-American Game, 79. 17 points and the MVP. Nick Gallus, 5.7 assists, 4 steals. Now, y'all let me know who this Gallus, uh, maybe I'm not pronouncing his name right. I'm, I'm guessing he was supposed to be one of the better players in the NCAA league at the time. That's why they're bringing his name up as compared to Larry Bird and showing his stats as compared to Larry Bird. But what's the story with him? I'm assuming he had a lot of potential. Uh... Maybe he was going to be an NBA player. Maybe things didn't pan out. Let me know. Boy, it looked like they got on Chicago Bulls uniforms. At least the bottom, the shorts, on the sides, were very similar to Chicago's. I don't know what that sound is that you hear, but that's from the video. That's not nothing. Or that's not anything on my end. Shots. Good pass. Just. Whoop. Dark horse people using this as a showcase. You're looking right now at Galus, number 15 from Seton Hall. Out to number 21, Terry Durod of Detroit. Galus, the team. That was Gene Johnson to put that shot up. All right, we'll tell you who's in there. This is the Galus from Seton Hall and a shot taken by Jeff Trope of Central Michigan, number 51. Wiley Peck commits the foul. He also is in the game. He's from Mississippi State. But Galus talks to the coach. Let's take a look now at Vinnie Johnson. Out of Baylor, average 25 points a game. He can put it up. Uh, he'll, he'll take those shots around that free throw area of the jump shot. I had dinner the other night with uh, Wiley. Uh, we Did you pay? No, 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 no. They, I got me for the camp for $2. I love how so many players back in previous eras all used to wear chains. <laughs> I love seeing it. Well, NCAA All-Star Game got more defense than an NBA regular season game. <laughs> current, current NBA regular season game. 
Yeah. Bumps him in the air. We are in the penalty. So Byrne has six points, and the foul was on Evans, as you said. That's three personal fouls for him. Both sides in the penalty now with 6.56 remaining in the first half. Byrne hits the first shot. Don't forget next week on the CBS Sports Spectacular Minnesota Fats in Money Players Shootout against Allen Hopkins. Also, yeah, well, he's, I'll tell you something. Hopkins, excited about our trip to China April 21st and April 28th. We will cover other sports as well. His favorite player, Bill Walton. Bird did go around for a while to a lot of cities saying that I'd like to play in L.A., I'd like to play in New York, I'd like to play in Phoenix. His reason being, he said, I don't know where I'll play in any one of the NBA cities. 20 seconds to go in the first half. McKeskey can't handle it. A bad pass. Dick Gale is number 15 of Seton Hall. Passes inside. Good pass to Wiley Peck and Galus thread the needle there. Beautiful pass. Interior passing. That's the toughest pass to make. And he penetrated, dumped it off perfectly. Wiley Matson Jr. Let's see it again. That's Galus' pass underneath. Watch Wiley muscle it up. Alright, so his name is pronounced Galus. My bad. My bad. Galus. Behind the back, left hand. What's good, dog? Facing square in the shoulders and banking a shot through. Perfect execution of the game. Bird goes in the corner to Galus. He was the third leading scorer in the country. Dumped it off. There you go. All right, so he was definitely one of the top players in the league. Third leading scorer in the country was Galus. So you got Bird and Galus on the same team? Who was the second leading scorer in the country? Was it magic? He knew he was guarded closely, wanted to draw the foul, and that's precisely what he did. Nick Galas on the feed from Reggie King. They've never gotten a shot away if he had a double pump. Defensively, he was shut down, but with the second effort, he drew the foul. 81% career from the line. He'll have two free throws coming. You know, there are a lot of great players playing at all levels. I think that Calvin Knapp's the best example of that. Sidney Moncrief and the Larry Birds. But what about the Vinnie Johnsons of Baylor that some of the pro scouts may know, but let's see how he plays against some of the other good ones, Calvin Nat and Wiley Peck. A good example last year, Maurice Cheeks, but had a great game in this game. I wonder how many of these players the playing in this all-star game made it to the NBA. Right, you figured they'd be... Um, in the draft, given they were all stars, but who knows? Doesn't always work out that way. That's what. Slam. Welcome to the slam. Yeah, inside, and that's where it went. Larry Demick scores. 17 point lead. That's what it in this game. It is not easy to do that. No, it isn't. Uh, I, there have been some great Come on, the slam. Welcome to the jam. Come on, the slam. Welcome to the jam. Annual Pizza Hut Classic. And Larry Bird has been named most valuable player in the game. MVP. Bird. Hey, who else was going to get the MVP over than Bird? Y'all know what time it is. 
Y'all know what time it is. Y'all knew who was getting that MVP. Larry probably walked in there like he did in a three-point contest. I just want to know who's getting second place. <laughs> he, I don't remember exactly what it said. Something like that. It's actually really cool to see, uh, you know, Bird doing work in his college days. And then seeing, you know, how that translated into the NBA. He had a a style of basketball that was so unique in that he was able to do almost anything on the court. Whereas he didn't really have to adjust his game so much going into the NBA. And he's the type of player where the players around him don't necessarily have to adjust their game so much to fit with him because he's such a fluid and cohesive piece just like Kevin Durant you know everybody, everybody says Kevin Durant you know you just put him in any team just drop him anywhere he will flourish and then people don't have to change their game so much around them people can still be themselves uh, because you know he doesn't demand the ball and demand people to fit around him and Larry Bird was that before Kevin Durant you know what I mean Larry Bird even to a higher degree because he's a better passer far better passer than Kevin Durant and I think Kevin Durant's playmaking is underrated but he's a better passer than Kevin Durant and he's a better rebounder too so I, I'd have to say that you want to talk about a player in, in the history of basketball that is a seamless addition anywhere, and you can easily build a team around him and not have to worry about breaking continuity so much, so much, even staying with his franchise, and then as the team evolves around him, it's seamless. It's seamless. Really, really, really. Uh, special player not many players in the history of the league have that type of ability it's 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 a wonderful thing to have dutch t thank you for putting this compilation out i enjoyed watching these videos i'll go ahead and edit them lace them together the best i can and put this video up as soon as i can you guys let me know what you think about it how was this uh nostalgia for you if it was nostalgia for you if it wasn't, what did you learn? How did Larry Bird make you feel back in his college days? Did he get you into basketball? Were you watching college sports? Were you watching NCAA basketball before Larry Bird? Did he did he draw you in? Sometimes players do that for people. I would love to hear your opinion. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. And I catch you on the next one. We out, baby. Bird Gang, what up?